want, I want it to go to Wolf of Wall Street. I really do. But I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm just going to say Wolf of Wall Street. That's what I'm saying. Wolf of Wall Street. That's my prediction. Uh, best picture, what I'd like to win is the Wolves of, of Wall Street. Uh, because I really feel that it's the um, opus of um, Scorsese. So I think what's going to win is um, American uh, uh, Shuffle. Oh my God. Yeah, no. I, there's so many pictures. I loved a little picture called The Book Thief. It's not even nominated. I mean, it's, it's, it's so sad. There's so much talent this year. Oh my gosh, you know, I think that's the hardest category. And it's funny because we've had Tom O'Deal from um, Gold Derby on our show several times talking about this. He says that 12 Years a Slave can't win. He thinks that it's not resonating with Academy voters, uh, you know, this historical piece. I think, he thinks that Gravity is going to win, so we've had a big debate about this. I think that 12 Years a Slave is going to win. I think that it's going to be a, a surprise. I think American Hustle. I'm going to bet. We have a pool. Uh, I'm very competitive, so I always like the Oscar parties that have a betting pool. Um, and to hopefully win some money, that's that's what I'm excited about. It's, uh, I can't do it. I feel like I've got I've got some money on the line and I don't want to say it, and I don't, I feel like if I say this, it's gonna get out and I'm gonna get in some trouble, actually. I would like to see, um, I love Spike Jones's Her. I thought it was a really original screenplay, um, but best picture, I, uh, I don't know, that's a good one. I'm not sure yet. That's a, not a good answer. Well, okay, prediction, better. Uh, I, I do think that 12 Years a Slave is gonna win the best picture. Wow, that's really a tough one. Maybe 12 Years a Slave. I think America needs that. Oh no. I didn't know there was predictions like this. My prediction is, I don't know, I think Wolf of Wall Street has a chance. I know it's a wild card, but I'm going to go with Wolf of Wall Street as a wild card prediction right here, right now. I agree, I love wild cards, so there we go, Wolf, all the way. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll probably be between uh, Gravity and 12 Years a Slave, and I think it'll probably go to 12 Years a Slave, but it's going to be very, very tight, a squeaker. Uh, her. I just think Spike Jones is an amazing director and you know he deserves it and that it's sort of a fairly unique film. Uh, I would be lying if I would not be talking about Jean-Marc Vallée, that's for sure, and Dallas Buyers Club. That's something, but since I'm superstitious, I won't say more. <laughs> oh gosh, I have to say Dallas Buyers Club, dark horse, but my prediction. <gasps> There are so many of them, I don't know. I mean, it's been a raging debate for the two days I've been here. I'm not sure. You know what happens in horse races, something creeps up the middle. I'm not entirely sure. I hope we'll fit the door, we'll fit the door, yeah. You know, I thought about this literally just today, and I thought about that time that Barbara Streisand and Katherine Hepburn tied in 1969 for Best Lead Actress, and I thought, wouldn't it be great if Gravity and 12 Years a Slave tied? Now, I know that's maybe a cop-out answer, but I truly thought that. No, Wolf of Wall Street. Best Picture, oh my gosh. I'm just rooting for Bradley Cooper right now. He's my boy, so gotta stick to friends, you know? Frozen. That's it, I'm going for two. Hopefully I'm two for two. Um, 12 Years a Slave? What do you think? Well, I'm keeping that a secret until I've surveyed until everyone. They, until they, no, all the experts. <laughs> until you tally the votes. And then you'll, yeah, okay. I mean, what? I don't think I have, I don't think I have a favorite, I have to admit. Uh, I, I was very happy with all the movies that came out this year. I loved her. American Hustle was pretty good. Um, I don't know. I, I, want, I want Matthew McConaughey to take home the award, so I'm going to go with him. I'm rooting for him. Yeah. I would like 12 Years a Slave to win, and I hope that that's, the, that's my prediction. Oh, geez. Um, for me, I think my preference would be Dallas Buyers Club, just because I love it so much, but I really have no idea what they're going to choose. I have a feeling that it might be 12 Years a Slave. I think my prediction, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's my favorite, but I think American Hustle is going to win. That's my gut. I'm not sure about Best Picture. That one I feel like it's anyone's game, but certainly if, if Lupita Nyong'o does not win an Oscar, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset because she's her performance in 12 Years a Slave I think is absolutely inspiring. Like I learned about acting watching her do that.
she went to some pretty real places. It was amazing. I was talking to David O. Russell the other day at uh, American Hustle, and I said, you know, David, I can't predict anything. I have never seen a year where there were so many good films. I love Nebraska. I loved. Uh, I love. I love. Yes, I love Stephen Freer's film. I mean, uh, there's just so much talent. But I'm. I'm gonna go and enjoy the evening. Yeah, I'll, we'll both go and get a little drunk and, you know, have some fun.